Welcome to Android App Addicts, episode number 70. The show where we talk about Android apps. And here's what we do. We, we slave over our phones during the week. And we think hard and we put time and effort into finding the best possible apps for you guys week after week. And I'm not exaggerating when I say maybe we put 5 to 10 hours a day in finding these apps for you guys. We would never... Just like at the, with five minutes before the show starts, just try to find the apps and just throw them out there. We would never do that. Just want you guys to know that. All right, let me introduce the co-host of the show and we'll get started. Door to Door Geek, Steve McLaughlin from DoorToDoorGeek.com. What's up, Door? We do it because we care. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Steve? Awesome. How about yourself? I'm here. I'm happy. You know, I'm, did I tell you? I, you already know. I'm up to five podcasts a week now. I know. It's fantastic. It's fun. Nice. Do you want to tell us about um real quick? Um Monday night pod um podbrewers.net all about home um home brewing beer um craft beer, the local guys making beer. It's fun. Tuesday night then Lennox for the rest of us, Wednesday night Troy Nation, Thursday night Android App Addicts, Friday night Linux basics. And then there's a second group of people doing pod, doing pod brewing. So we have two shows a week, two different hosts, each show. That's the most interesting sounding podcast format I've ever heard, to be honest. Well, a lot of people want to talk about beer and I feel like if, you know, they wanted to talk, so we couldn't say no. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's nice. Well, check out those guys shows. Yes, beer is very good. Eric Ardini is our next host. What's up, Eric? Oh, just staying busy, man. Um, having fun building a shop for my computer repair business. Like That's, from the ground up, like a, a for log cabin like shop? Yeah, actually, no, it's it's been there for a hundred and some years. I just <laughs> totally, it smells like a new place now, though. We've put a lot of work into it. Yeah, we were checking out some of Eric's pictures before uh, Podnuts Daily tonight, and he's, it's Really looking good, man. I really like it. So good job yeah, on that. There. Thanks. I'm He's not a- much of a carpenter, but my father was one, so we're getting there. <laughs> good rationale. And uh, it's at siliconwrench.com is his business. So, um, And you can check out his pictures uh, of his shop on Google+. Plus. If you're Steve C., I, I, I haven't shared them with everybody else yet, uh, but there's a couple of them up there. Okay. My bad. No, that's all right. Also joining us, Sean Johnson, SJGeek89 on Twitter. What's going on, Sean? Not much, man. Uh, it's Thursday on the calendar, but it's my Friday. I took tomorrow off, so my long weekend has started. So I'm nice. Ready. Are you going to do a crazy Relax. Friday? No, I'm See going it? to my son's. I'm going to my son's school, so I probably you shouldn't. President's Day <laughs> off too? Um, I actually took it off, but not normally. No, wow. but the kids so are off got... all next week. Wow. Yeah, nice four day weekend. Yeah. Good for you. What are you going to relax? What are you going to do? Um, t- well, tomorrow I'm going into my son's school. He's uh, he's got to do like this uh, live living biography thing where they pick you know someone from history or just somebody and they kind of they have to dress like them and tell their biography. And uh, who do you my pick? Son, George Lucas. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> cool! Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you can only have so many Abe Lincoln's <laughs> and all that stuff, so. Cool. Yeah. So I'm like, I gotta go see. I gotta go check it out. Parents can go tomorrow. So that's really what cool. What grade's he in, son? He's in fourth. Oh, cool. Now, yeah, are the so... teachers gonna be like when he gets out there? Are they gonna be like, of course, or do they not know he's such like a fan and his dad is too? Uh, um, no, nah, they pretty much. I think they know. He's got a lot of t-shirts. Nice. <laughs> cool. You should tape that. Oh, I will. All right, cool. All right, let's start with Sean, Eric, and then Door. We'll go reverse order today. What do you got, Sean? Well, now you just threw my game off here. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, uh, this first one is real simple, to the point, and it's exactly how I wanted it. Uh, it's called Late SMS, and I <laughs> actually found it on the, uh, I think it was the Android Talk forums or something like that. Uh, I just posted it in a chat. I wanted something, you know, there's times where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll you know, I'll send you a text tomorrow and, or whatever, and you always forget. So this thing, you can schedule it. You just pick the person out of your contacts or just add any number. Uh, 
text you go in, you pick the date you want it sent, the ex exact time you want it sent. That's it. You just hit it to the queue, and it's and it's logged in there. Ah, that's very um, smart. The only thing I will say is, if I'm not sure how it is on other ROMs, but if you're running uh, my UI, there's like the built-in firewall, and I would set it to go off, and then I would check, and it would never, it, it was never sending it to my, my wife. I was getting really sick of me too, by the way, because I was <laughs> I was testing it out on her phone, sending her texts all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but so if you are on my UI and you're gonna try it, send it a test one, like set it for a minute. And then as it's going to get ready to send it, the firewall will come up and basically say, you know, this app is trying to do this. Do you want to allow it? You check yes, do this all the time. And then you're all set. Cause I was like, why is this not working? And I tried a couple other ones. Uh, and, and the same thing was happening until I figured out I should probably test it out. But this one, I wanted something, you know, simple and to the point. There's a, there's a bunch of apps like this. Um, but this really is just kind of tap one button and uh pick your contact type your message done so late sms trying to find it and it's oh okay there it is well okay i see it's it's a new new app yeah uh, very i just cool. saw it in the forums uh for like new developers or new applications and i thought oh, i'm gonna give this a test because this is i've been looking for something like this very cool yeah brand new 50 to 100 installs just make sure you do it as one word in the market. Late SMS, all one word. Awesome. You guys have anything on this? I like it. <laughs> yeah. Very Definitely cool. going to try that out. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. Yep. Eric, what do you got? Well, I know sometimes when you get bigger devices, and Door probably goes through this, and you will too, Steve, once you get your note, keeping the screen clean is hard, uh, harder on a, on a large screen. So I found an app that actually can help. It's kind of neat. Um, yeah, this is called... Um, Sounds fishy already. Yeah, let me put it in here. Oh, I was going to do this one first. So it's called Dog Screen Cleaner. Dog Screen Cleaner? Yeah. Let me, ah. let me get the, uh, I see the link it. here for the... Yeah. Oh, did you, did you find it already? Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a couple of them out there because it's pretty, you know, that's actually the wrong one that you got there. This, other, this is a different one than that. Here, I'll paste it in there. Um, this one, basically you run it and a dog will take its tongue and clean your screen for you from the inside so then you don't have to worry about it so much. Um, I've got it on, I think I got it up on Skype now. You can see. I see it. And, yeah, so this is it. Um, <laughs> that's great. So it that. works pretty good. Um, there are a couple spots that he misses, but they've, they've also thought about that. Yeah. What they in do this app. That? Yeah, so what they did is there's a part two, dog screen <laughs> cleaner part two, and this guy will come in and, and pick up wherever this the other first one leaves off. So, you kind of get sidetracked. I don't know if there's some, maybe some biscuits or something down there. So if you hit part two, and, and this next <laughs> just goes to town. That's the rest of the way. so smart. Yeah. I mean, I, there's been so many times where I had to clean my screen from the outside, and I won't have to do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It, you don't need it so much maybe with a phone, but once you get a tablet, it's it's almost, you can't hardly, you know, live without this app. Yeah. Now, I mean, is it possible these dogs will... Because yeah, they're not eating anything. Um, are they in there? Are they, are they okay? Are they going to bite you if you try to use the screen while they're cleaning it? Oh, yeah, I didn't try that. I mean, All right. Oh, ooh, I, that was the wrong part. No, what happens actually really seriously? What happens if you touch the dog? Can you mess around with him? No, he doesn't care. No, he's all business. <laughs> how many stars did this get for not actually working? I can't wait to see that. Like, how many people <laughs> yeah, actually, right? you know what I mean? Like, how many people actually think that this was legit? It's it's got four stars with three hundred fifty five ratings. So, uh, and actually, and part two has four stars with forty four ratings. I I admit I like part two better. It's very it's a very good idea how the guy put it together. I like that man. Let's see. Okay, I wanted to see if yeah. any. I wanted to see if there was YouTube um, style comments where it's basically people saying it's fake. You know. Actually, I think you can get the same app on YouTube for those at home if you want to clean your your uh, 
your home screen and your, your uh, you know, your monitor on your regular. Okay, good. good. Yeah. So, you know, he, he can work for you everywhere. Awesome. Thank you, Eric, for Dog yeah. Screen Cleaner 1 and 2 from Great Fun Apps. Door, you're up. B- well, match, match that last one, I bet. Mm-hmm. Try that. Well, yeah. well, well, first off, if you don't touch the screen for a while, would he eventually go to the bathroom? Because I don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. You, you leave make, him unattended, who knows what he's going to do. Yeah. Make more work for himself. <laughs> yeah, and I got to say, that's much better than the first one I saw, which it's a little bit zoomed back. The one I saw, it was zoomed way up too close. And it was a really ugly, like, bulldog, like, nose halfway up his yeah. face kind of thing. And that just looked nah. Slobber. And I did just, yeah, and I did just send you a uh, link through Skype, Steve. There's a cat screen cleaner app, too. Oh, oh nice. One. Gotta check into that one. Okay, um, now for the real app. I've stopped playing Game Dev Studio, Steve. Now, nah, let me ask you this. Before you continue, uh, did you break every record? Did you stop because you dominated the game? Or I... Oh, I pounded it. Okay, good. Well, that's right, all. Air, right into submission. I mean, it had no chance. <laughs> I was getting uh, game of the year, like two out of three years, two out of four years. Nice. Um, the last time I stopped, yeah, 20 years, I had, I, when I stopped the game, I had over, it's actually thousands. It's actually millions. So it's actually billions of dollars, wow. like ten billion dollars. Now, are you, does this prime you for actually running, opening up an actual software company? Do you think you could do it now? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I would spend too much time playing games. Cool. What do you got um, this week? Uh, oh, classic man. And for those of you that do not like this style of game, oh, I'm sorry, but when this game came out. I literally remember taking off work and staying home to work for two days. And I was up for at least 36 hours straight. <laughs> really? Um, oh, yeah. It was uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. Um, Grand Theft Auto 3, 10 year anniversary official game from Rockstar 499, which I honestly think is a kind of a fair price. Sure. Oh, yeah. I, I thought um, about buying this one. I just didn't know how the, how, how the screen um, went and your, your controls. So I'm glad you're reviewing this. Uh, dude, I can first tell you it is the exact game. It literally, everything looks like the exact game. Um, the con- the controls are touch screen. I don't know if you can, it's, um, I don't know if you can actually use hard keys, but on mine, I have two tablets and it's all touch screen. I can't load it on my phone. Won't even let me install it. It's running on the fire there? This is on the fire, which three people told me it would not run on. It's too weak. It runs fine. It's just a touch slow. Once in a while, it will slow down for a second or two. But for the most part, it plays great. The only negative about the fire is I have CM9 on it. It's ice cream sandwich. I get no audio from the game whatsoever. Oh. Which I don't care because I always turn the the audio down all the way so I can listen to podcast. Interesting. Hmm. No harm, no foul there. I loaded it on Streak Meister. The streak performance wise much better. But as soon as I break a pane of glass, the game force quits. Oh, are you serious? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Is that streak oh, yeah. good for anything? <laughs> um <laughs> Yes. It's good to make your energy bill go higher because it really just goes right through the battery like a hot knife through Damn. butter. Damn. You might have to gazelle uh, that or eBay it or something. What it Honestly, what it is good at, what it has a really useful function at, if you get a um, headphone, like a cell phone headphone, hard wired headphone that has the mic built into it, yeah, you plug it in here. This has a front-facing camera. It is fantastic for Google Hangouts. Huh. Mm. That's a good function. Okay, good. I got to say, I like the game, but the controls are a little... Because you're touchscreen, it's different. You got to learn them. You got to learn the touch kind of thing. I'm going to look at borrowing the app 6 Axis because it's $2 with only a 15-minute trial. That's not enough time for me to tell whether or not this is going to work right or not. 
borrowed the app six axis but will let which will let me use i believe my ps3